Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my channel and my videos. I really deeply appreciate it. Today I've got a weapons mounted light for you. I don't, I'm going to just confess to you right now, I've not worked with weapons mounted lights very much. So this is kind of a new thing for me. Uh, I know they're an old thing, but you know, I'm an old guy and I, I really have never messed with them very much. I've always had handheld lights. But Optics Planet was kind enough to send me this. This is a Streamlight TLR4 weapons light laser combination and it mounts on the on the rail underneath your pistol. Now, I've mounted it up and I've played with it a little bit, took it up to the rainbow range and shot it a little bit, met a guy up there while I was at it and we had a great time. I'm going to talk about him and it in just a second but before I do I want to do a shout out to some folks here uh, who were kind enough to uh, join Patreon to help us out and I want to call attention to them because they're awesome. Uh, Bruce B. Brandon S. Forgive me for leaving the last names out. I don't know if they want me to share them, so just out of courtesy, I'm not doing it. John M., Mark M., Chris G., Michael W., and Richard T. Thank you, right from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for helping us out on Patreon. Hopefully you're enjoying the content there. We are on Patreon. And I'm providing some premium content on Patreon that's only available there. So when we do new things or we're talking about doing new things, uh, we post some updates there on videos that are coming. Uh, there's also uh, some little, you know, Instagram type posts that I do along the way with pictures and that kind of thing. Uh, there's the audio podcast, half an hour po audio podcast we release twice a month on the 5th and the 20th. And then some outtake videos and behind the scenes videos for pretty much every video we do. There actually are some behind the scenes videos and outtake videos, uh, video clips from this particular video that are going to be on Patreon only. And that's available to those folks. We make that as kind of a gift to them for helping us out. Thank you very much for each and every one of you. I really, really do deeply appreciate it. Check us out on Patreon if you like. There is a link in the description. Now, back to this Streamlight, Weapons Light, and Laser Combo. So I'm at the range and we're, you know, we did some shooting with the guy that, uh, with the, the Garo 17 HMR. I posted that video already. And then we went up to the pistol range where we're going to really kind of ring this out for the first time. I've shot it a lot since, or shot with it a lot since. And while I'm there, a young guy walks up to me and says, hey, I watch your channel and we had a nice conversation. His name is Trevor. And I, you know, we just hit it off immediately. I want to urge you to do that if you happen to see me in a public place. Come on up and say hi, please. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I, I want you to do that. Just understand that I'm not a movie star or a rock star or a, or a politician. So I'm a, I can, it, can, it can catch me off guard and then I'm a little awkward. So if you're feeling awkward, I'll be feeling awkward. We'll, we'll just be awkward together and it'll work out just fine. Uh, but just let me get past the awkward part because it's weird and it's new to me. And it, and, uh, but please do do that. He did that and I was like, well, dude, do you want to be in the video? And he said, sure. So he was. I don't know. I kind of, have you been trained with these at all? Not at all. Not at all. So you and I are both complete newbies. All right. So this is what you call this is what you call the blind leading the blind. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do our best with it and see how it works. Now, obviously, it's not twilight because it's an outdoor range. I am going to take it to the P2K range and play and play with the light a little bit. But what we're going to mess with now is figure out can we actually see the laser on the target at this distance. So Trevor's going to shoot a little bit and then um, we'll get you a camera angle on that and see whether you can see the laser or not. We'll let you know whether it works well for us because one of the concerns people have with lasers sometimes is, you know, I can't see it during the day. I I'm going to be completely real and I'll be completely real with you. If I can see my sights, I don't care if I can see the laser because I can see the bad guy and I can see the sights. Right. That said, there are some quirky positions you might end up, like laying down, you know, shooting under your car or something if somebody's banging away at you, where you don't, you can't get your eye behind the sights and that where you'd want to see it during the day. This is a red laser. They do come in green. My understanding is people can see them better in green. I don't know. I think for me, I can't see anything, so it works either way. Do you have a preference, red or green? I don't. I won't tell you how colorblind I am either. Oh, are you red, green, colorblind? <laughs> That's the way. Are you red, green? Are you really red, green, colorblind? No. Okay, that would be hilarious because you're not going to see it regardless. See it <laughs> it's, it's not going to show up at all. All right, load that sucker up. All let's right. the, you know go through a mag on it and let's see let's see what happens. All right, no more grind shots, dude. That's below the belt, literally. I mean, that guy's now he's got to say, I have an RPG. Most <laughs> of what was going on before. All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. Go. Oh, you got him. Well, I'll count that. That was okay. an eyeball shot that was almost. An eyeball. All right. Go! Go! Head! 
Oh, that was you pulling him to the right, but you I'm got out. him. You got him. <laughs> All right, my turn. Hold on. Okay, now it's my turn to embarrass myself. And I know you can't see the target, but we'll show you afterwards where my hits were. And when you hear him laughing incessantly, this cackle behind me, then you're going to know what happened with my shooting. Okay, same deal, right? You're going to yell go. Yep. And if you yell head, what are then, you going to do? Then I'm going to shoot one round at the head. And if I miss, I got to keep going. Okay, exactly. but, you're, but you're in charge, not me, right? I'm in charge. Okay, do it. Go. It is different with the laser a lot. Head. Go. Go. Head. Oh, nope. Nope. No. No head. Nope. There you go. Got him finally with my there last round. There you go, round. last one. Nice shot. All right, he's dead. Okay, so the question is, as they're staring at the target, I I, I think that the laser was a lot different. It took some adjusting. To a lot of it, a lot of adjustment. Um, I, I don't have any experience shooting with the laser, and uh, it was definitely different. Yeah, in fact, I, you know, truthfully, I cheated a couple times to get the headshots. I, I had to kind of force myself to, to try to definitely use the, the laser. As, as so what you're telling to. me is I was a crook and you were honest. <laughs> I don't know that's how what, honest that's that what was. happens. I don't know how honest that was, but I'm going to blame those errant shots on, uh, on the, laser. the adjustment. You know, on the trying adjustment. to adjust on the to the laser. And, uh, I like it. I mean, I think, I think in, a, in a really low light, I mean, like you can see it pretty clearly there. I think yeah. in, a, in a lower light situation where you, even with night sights or you know, or, or maybe closer than that. I mean, we've got that out right. about what? I don't know, what is that, six, seven yards maybe? Yeah, I would think so. So, you know, if you're really fighting for your life, it's probably not gonna be that far. So uh, then your groups are gonna be better with the laser. But, I, you know, I like it. I think in a low light, uh, you know, adrenaline rush kind of situation, uh, yeah. the laser could definitely be your friend. There were a few things we discovered there. One, um, when you can clearly see the target and you really don't need the laser, if you are trained at all, you're naturally looking for the front sight. You're just looking for the front sight, looking for the front sight, looking for the front sight. And uh, I discovered when I went down to the P2K range that when it was darker and I could actually just put the laser on there and focus on the target and then not actually look for the laser but just catch it in my peripheral vision, my shooting was a lot quicker and a lot more accurate. When Trevor and I were shooting, we were actually having to hunt for the laser because it was kind of a bright day. We were able to see it, but we had to look for it to get it on target as opposed to focusing on the threat like you would in point shooting and then just catching the laser in our peripheral vision and pressing the trigger. When I started doing that at the P2K range, my shooting became a lot more accurate and a lot quicker. So I, I discovered that as far as working with the laser. Now, as far as the light is concerned, there's a couple different ways to turn on this light. You can turn it on a momentary, with a momentary switch, which if you're right-handed, your left thumb will catch that switch and you can push it down and the light will come on. If you push it up and rock it up, then the light stays on consistently and constantly until you turn it back off again. But the momentary on-off is a little rock downward. Now, what I discovered is with that, with that rock downward, if I had the light on on a momentary on, which is this little rock downward right here, uh, perhaps you can see it, then uh, whenever I fired the gun, my thumb obviously came off of that because of the re recoil of the gun, and the light went off. So if you want to have it on, you got to push it up and get it all the way on. If you just have it on that momentary on, the minute you press a trigger, that light's going to go away, and you have to realize you're going to have to push it again with your thumb. So that's a little strange, and I think it's a training issue. It's learning how to use a weapons-mounted light. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is something I've never been trained with, which is a weapons-mounted light on a handgun. It's not something I've ever gotten any training with. Now, the little drill we were doing was a front sight drill I learned there, but I can tell you I'm going to go, the next class I take, I'm going to take a class on low light and weapons-mounted lights so I can learn more about them because in my day we didn't have weapons-mounted lights. What we had was handheld lights, and so I have a lot of training with those and not so much training with these. So if you know a lot about these, and you probably know more than I do, then please go ahead and comment and educate me because I would love to know more about how to use this light effectively. I did find out that the that laser light combo works really well. I like the idea that I can light up the, the threat and identify it before I press the trigger, but at the same time, I also have my laser there and I can catch that in my peripheral vision while I'm identifying the threat. So I know it's, hey, it, this is a real threat, press the trigger, or this is a, not a real threat, keep my finger off the trigger and get the weapon off that person. This is, this is a good guy, I don't wanna shoot that individual. So having the light is very powerful from that perspective. There are a couple of settings on it. On here, there's a little toggle switch in the back. You can uh, run it laser only, 
light only or light and laser. It depends on where you set up the toggle. And the adjustment for uh, set, getting the thing sighted in is really simple. There's a little Allen screw that comes with it and there's an elevation here and a windage here and it's really simple to adjust. Now there are a couple of things I discovered with it uh, right out of the gate and that is I put the, you know, I'm a guy. I didn't bother to read the instructions. What is that rule? When all else fails, read the instructions? Well, all else didn't fail, so I didn't. When I put it on, I just turned this little mounting screw here finger tight. Now, I tightened it up pretty good, but I just tightened it finger tight. And then when I went to go shoot it, I found that after the, after the gun had gone off about four or five times, it was wobbling all over the place. And even though I had it sighted in, it didn't stay that way. And then I just tightened it up again, finger tight again, put it in the gun rug, and uh, we went and had lunch or whatever, went back to shoot it some more. And you know what? Uh, guess what? In the gun rug, because it got knocked around, it was no longer sighted in. So it's important that this gets tightened down pretty darn tight. Otherwise, it's not going to stay sighted in. Because as you can see, there's a lot of leverage on it when it gets pushed here or when it gets pushed here, and it's going to move the darn thing around. So you really want to make sure that it's well tightened down so that you keep your point of aim wherever that laser is. There are some companies that make custom uh, holsters for these. I've got one that's offered to make me a custom holster once I got the light. So I'm going to uh, contact them and let them know. And if they're kind enough to build me a holster, I'll review that as well. All in all, I like the light, but I can tell you that it's going to take some training on my part to get used to using a weapons-mounted light. If you're not used to it, then it's going to take some practice, and I encourage you to go get some training. That's one of the best things you can do for yourself, is go get yourself trained. Uh, other than that, I, I found it to be a really positive addition to my pistol. Uh, it's an extremely well-made unit. I, I, you know, I, I can't grouse about the way it's made. The only thing I would say that I wish it did that it doesn't do, if I was going to look at something that I wanted to be uh, ready for, an, for a relatively untrained person with a weapons mounted light or with a laser, particularly the laser, is I really look for lasers to be instinctive in their activation. When I pick up the gun and point it, I want the laser on. I don't want to have to think about turning the laser on. If I have to think about turning the laser on, then it's probably not going to come on in the heat of the moment unless I really, 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 really train that. So that's, that's the one concern for me is I want that thing to be on when I draw the, when I draw the firearm, if it's on, I want it to come on when it comes out. This is not going to do that. You're going to have to train to turn it on. Now for a home defense gun, which this is not, this is actually a carry gun of mine, but I do have a Glock that's a home defense gun. I'm probably going to put this on. Yeah, I hear a rattling around in the other end of the house and we've got the kids or whoever, whoever's in the house that's supposed to be there. We've got them in the safe zone and the door's closed and we're on the phone with the police and I've got a handgun uh, or maybe this will go on my wife's gun. I don't know, but we'll, it'll go on one of them. And I've got the shotgun. We've got a handgun out. Yeah, I'm just going to turn the light and the laser on because it's going to be pointed at the door, right? And then if it comes through the door and it doesn't have a badge on it, uh, it's going to get shot. As long as it's not a family member and it doesn't have, it's not displaying a badge, it's going to get shot. So that's a, a really great idea there because that way it's already on, the laser's on, the light's on, I can identify my target. The last thing I want to do is inadvertently shoot a good guy. I don't want to shoot a member of my family. I've got to make sure that I know where they all are. I certainly don't want to shoot a police officer. I, I respect them tremendously, my family, and I have a law enforcement history uh, in my family. And a lot of my friends are law enforcement, so I don't want to in any way risk shooting anybody that shouldn't be shot. And I, honestly, I don't want to shoot anybody at all. But if I do, I want to make sure I know who that is. So that's why a light is incredibly positive. If you're looking at something like this for a home defense gun, then this is awesome. If you're looking at it as a carry option, I suggest you get a lot of training to make sure that you can actuate that laser and get that thing on or get that light on when you want it on and you do it you know, habitually. You've trained it so much that it's just automatic. It's like clicking the safety off on a 1911. It's just something you do the minute the gun is drawn and you don't have to think about it. Otherwise, you're probably going to forget about it in the heat of the moment. So it's going to take some training. So great unit. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to put it on one of my, you know, one of my house guns and probably I'm going to order a couple more because it's uh, very inexpensive. You can get it right at Optics Planet. That's who sent it to me. There is a link to the uh, product in the description. So check them out at Optics Planet when you get a chance. Uh, and also, if you wouldn't mind, please join the National Rifle Association. A lot of people are kind of sliding away from supporting the NRA and supporting gun groups now because, you know, President Trump is in office. Well, 
That's just a beginning. Now is the time to go on offense, so we really need your help. Please join the NRA and help them out. You can do it with the link that's in the description. Uh, there's also a little pop-up here that will help you get there. Uh, if you have a gun for home defense like this one or another gun that you use for home defense or self-defense or you carry a gun like I do every day, you're going to need some legal assistance as well. I strongly advise Second Call Defense. That is the best backup, uh, legal backup type company that I've been able to find. It's the one I use and it's the one I, since it's the one I use to protect my family and me, that's the one I'm recommending to you. Check them out, Second Call Defense. There is a link in the description. And lastly, please share, like, and please subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel and it's only because of you that we have a snowball's chance of doing so. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm very, very grateful that you do. Have a wonderful week, and best of all, no matter what, I want you to please be safe.